folks. Well, she's ready. That was quick, wasn't it, for a top end overhaul? You saw the progress. And so now, this was the final step. Yes, every car that comes to Kenzone gets a nice wash and vacuum, free. But if you want to just walk in and do your own, uh, it's about 25 ringgit, I think. Not inclusive of the engine bay clean, but because this car had so much work done to it, they gave me an engine bay clean as well. And are you ready to see the engine? Because they did a little bit of extra work on it. And I'm very, very, very impressed. So here we go. Without further ado. Ta-da. <laughs> Look at that. So yes, can detail the uh, cylinder head cover. And uh, also that's the Nissan sign, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And Meng signed it. A la AMG, one man, one engine. He did this engine himself. So yes, the ECCS uh, fuel injection up there, you can see the intakes are now in red and uh, lovely little details like the uh, screws are also gold to match the gold inserts here. <laughs> Brilliant, he even brought out the Nissan sign there on the airbox. So very, very, very nice. Yes, good job guys, good job. So that's it. The only thing left to do is to start her up. Are you ready for that? So let's start her up and see what's what. Okay, I guess I'll need the key to start her up. But uh, yeah, let me go get that real quick. Ah, and there's the man himself. Thank you, sir. Let's start her up and see. Yes, my bad, Toro. This is a very naughty car. So here we go, moment of truth. Oh yeah. No white smoke, which means the uh, piston rings were fine. Rev her up a bit. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is what I remember. And this is what I've been waiting for. So cool. Very heavy bonnet, by the way. So nice. Okay, so that's it. The saga of the Sentra continues. Are you ready for a Gunting run? Are you ready for a Gunting run? Oh, I think she's saying yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, folks, that's it. A little bit more rev. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Okay, so stay tuned. Yep, a lot more to come. We definitely have to do a run for sure of the Sentra. Nice. Very, very nice. How's it going folks? Again, I found another uh, holder for the GoPro, but uh, it looks a little bit shaky, so sorry about that. Uh, just got back the Sentra, yep, I'm driving it home, and she feels very smooth, very nice. I can't gun it just yet, because although we didn't change the uh, piston rings or the pistons, a lot of new components have gone into the inside of the engine, so I can't bring myself to actually rag the heck out of it, although I really, really want to and she feels really, really nice. So, but you know what? I gotta, I gotta behave myself 
and uh, not not do this <laughs> although I really really want to but uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna give it about a thousand kilometers uh, oh, oh, okay maybe 500 and uh, about a month okay 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 maybe two weeks before I uh, give it the beans so to speak but um, in case you were wondering how much this all cost yeah well it wasn't cheap and uh, Surprisingly, it came in below 2,000 ringgit. So I'm very, very thankful about that. Yeah, it came in below 2,000 ringgit. Um, I'll show you the bill in a little while, but uh, in the meantime, I just wanted to tell you that the car is alive and uh, soon to be kicking. Absolutely, because uh, this uh, saga of the Sentra is definitely far from over. And I'm um, really looking forward. To, oh, even second gear low, low end pickup is very nice now. Not jerky at all. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so nice. I don't know how to explain what it's like driving this car, but it's just so appealing. I mean, five-speed manual, 1.6 liter, dual overhead cam, 16 valve, fuel injection. This is a, a recipe, you know. It's a recipe for fun. And the car is light, and I can understand now why it was used as a Genting taxi because even with three people on board, I think it would be more than more than adequate to actually climb that hill. And uh, believe it or not, uh, from the from that time, people have always been asking, "Can new cars, you know, smaller smaller new cars, can it climb Genting Highlands?" I remember when the Kanchil first came out, everybody was asking, "Can this car go up Genting Highlands?" Uh, well, it could, for for the record, it could. And uh, but here I am. And why, why did I choose this car? Here I am in a Nissan Sentra B13 Which was actually used as a taxi Well, not this unit I mean, this was privately owned But uh, this model was actually used as a Gunting taxi Now, why, why did the Gunting Taxi Corporation choose a Nissan Sentra? And I, that's what I needed to figure out for myself That's what I needed to feel for myself And I finally was able to And so, you know what? Like I always say, whatever it takes, hashtag whatever it takes, uh, this car is going to run like the wind, like it was meant to. So now I've got pretty much a new engine up front, um, and it, like I said, it wasn't cheap, but to me, I think it's worth it, very, very worth it. And somebody actually asked, uh, why, why this, you know, of all cars you could have chosen out there, why, why a Nissan Sentra? And I just explained it, because this car has some provenance, this car has some history. Um, those of you who remember, long before the Proton Exora was used or uh, Nova was used as a Genting taxi, this was it. If you wanted to get from the Klang bus station to Genting Highlands, you would be sitting in one of these. And uh, halfway up, you'd probably throw up because I've seen the way those uncles used to drive this taxi. And uh, there was an old saying long, long time ago, you want to learn the lines of Genting Highlands, follow a Genting Highlands taxi. And although I'm pretty sure they are doing the same right now with the Exoras, I think they would be missing this uh, this Sentra. I, I I I honestly believe they would be missing this Sentra because uh, I used to try and follow them to learn their lines through uh, Genting Highland, and it was damn near impossible to keep up with them when they were driving their Sentras. Really, no joke. But uh. Mm. That's why I, I like this car. That's why I wanted this car. I wanted to feel because back then I, you know, I was just starting out in my motoring life, and the way those uncles used to fly up that hill, it was just amazing. Really, really amazing. You would think they were rally champions or something, but no, they were not. They were uh, just regular taxi guys. And uh, here we go. So that's that's why I wanted it. And uh, as you can see, I'm making some loops because I just want to drive this car a little bit more before I get home and see what she's like. And yeah, she's running well. Okay, folks, I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.
So as promised folks, here we go. This is the build for the Sentra. What was done? Oil pump, original Nissan Sentra. Oil switch, Nissan Sentra. Valve cover hose, Nissan Sentra. The uh, oil pump was the most expensive. 530 ringgit right there. And uh, other than that, you've got the oil cooler hose, you've got the engine oil, of course, oil filter, valve cover, Bush Nissan Sentra, main pulley OEM Nissan Sentra, service radiator in the ca um, casing gasket, radiator coolant, timing chain tensioner, top Nissan Sentra, 190 bucks. And the other big one was the top set Nissan Sentra, gasket set, aircon gas, blah, blah, blah. And uh, there we go. So that's it. That's the big That's the big total there. Yep. 1750 after discount. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Ken Zone. Thank you so much. The car is running beautifully. Very, very, very happy. So yeah, I'm gonna run it in a little bit and uh, we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned, lots more to come. Yeah, I'm just gonna give you a full view like this so you can pause on this if you wanna see the uh, pricing, yeah? Okay, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.